that time. We were supposed to be a tag team, Limitless biggest show to date. The other tag team got in a car accident, so we uh, had to go do it with each other. And what's that video up to? How many millions of views? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and do you remember when we when we actually did defend Limitless Wrestling? Oh, yeah. For the four of us. First on board. Remember when we were the first intergender tag team? I remember. The question is, does Randy remember? <laughs> remember when I was the most dominant woman in all of Limitless Wrestling, and I was the only woman to do anything of any significance in that ring? Do you remember that? Because mm -hmm. I, I see, the, the thing is, I don't think they remember that in Maine. No, see, they're too busy. They're too busy with their shiny new toys and worshiping fake aliens and mermaids. But the thing is, I haven't forgotten. No, actually, I think about it every day. And I've thought long and hard, and I know exactly who to go through to show them and to remind them that I ain't the lady to mess with. <laughs> you see, that's right, Victoria. I've heard about your little retirement tour, you know, round of applause really you really have had a hell of a career really impressive but the thing is i just don't care anymore because it's no longer about you it's about me and it's been about me so on may 10th at hooked on a freedman for limitless wrestling i am calling you right out victoria but i want you to think long and hard before you say yes because every girl that you've wrestled so far is just happy to be in there with you. But that's not the case with me. So really think about what are you going to do when you're in the same ring as somebody who is willing to tear you apart and end your little retirement tour early just to prove a point. <laughs> she ain't coming alone.